It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Good advice from Lamentations 3 and verse 26. But actually, waiting is one of our greatest challenges. And waiting quietly at least doubles the difficulty. Trained for instant gratification as digital consumers, our phones are rarely out of reach, rarely switched off and precisely programmed to alert and allure. We struggle to relax because we carelessly invite a state of perpetual stimulation. Delays become an irritation and our attention spans shrink. The poignant how long is often heard in the Psalms, where we also learn, however, as Derek Kidner comments, that all God's delays are maturings, either of the time or the person. Now there's a thought. While we are waiting, something is maturing. The time, the, the right time is coming, or perhaps the maturing is, is in us, in what God is doing in our characters. Now, the complete verse reads, The Lord is good to those who hope in him, to the one who seeks him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Now those preceding verses remind us that it is the face of God, the person of God, that we seek in relationship, not just the hand of God in giving us what we want. What can we give to God? Well, actually, our most precious commodity is time. Can we spend more of it waiting quietly in his presence? 